Hello, this is Scott Carpenter. Uh, the video that I'm about to uh, show you is a video that was taken by Mary Green at the uh, infamous uh, Carter Farm, uh, uh, the farm that Janice Carter lived on with her grandfather. And uh, uh, I came into possession of this these videos uh, when I went to visit uh, Mary Green uh, back in 2011-12 uh, uh, before death and it was part of uh, uh, reaching out to her and uh, we had become friends uh, a year or so before that and uh, we were um, and uh, she had invited me to come up and uh, talk to her and she had some hair samples she wanted me to put into the uh, Sasquatch genome study and uh, while I was up there and talking to her we uh, like I said we already had a friendship uh, uh, basically the area that I researched was very near the Carter farm and apparently some of the Bigfoot that I was encountering were part of the Fox clan and part of his offspring and immediate family and uh, because I always thought it was odd how quickly uh, these uh, these creatures um, which I now I think are you know Nephilim are uh, human hybrids but that's another story but they uh, very quickly uh, acclimated to me and began to almost immediately interact with me so uh, we started uh, I started uh, talking with uh, Mary Green, uh, another Bigfoot researcher that knew her very well, put me in contact with her, and we um, we struck up a friendship, and uh, you know, and uh, began to call each other, you know, a few times, um, you know, I, I guess, in the time I knew her, maybe ever once every couple months we talked, and uh, so she and in, uh, invited me up and. Uh, as part of the uh, hair samples that she gave me, uh, she also uh, wanted me to have these videos, and she basically told me that that uh, you know look at them. Uh, she said do some analysis. She she felt like there was a couple places in these videos where there could be something. Uh, this was a video taken in 2002 in April uh, when she had personally gone to the Carter farm with a video camera, and they were. Uh, hoping to get video of Fox if they could. This is why he was still alive. And uh, so that's basically there was uh, four different uh, video clips that she gave me and she just told me to you know do your analysis and and you know use your best judgment on what to do with it. So uh, I've actually not done a whole lot with the video till now. Some some of it out of respect, some of it out of uh, just waiting for the right time uh, for her, and uh, so I think you know at this time, I mean, there's a there seems to be a resurgence uh, in interest in the 50 years of Bigfoot or 50 years with Bigfoot, and so uh, I know that uh, one of the Bigfoot channels is uh, they're reading the book in the little 30 minute segments, and I heard a couple of the segments and that kind of got me to thinking you know this would be a good time to probably put that video out with your analysis because that leads uh, that'll lend credibility and further uh, cooperation of the book uh, and everything else around Mary Green and Janice Carter and the Carter farm so that's what I've decided to do and this is uh, a very interesting video and I think uh, that you'll see what appears to be, in my opinion, a uh, fox as he sneaks up on them uh, while they're looking for him in the uh, in the basement underneath the old home place. So um, here in a minute I'll uh, I'll start that portion of the video and do the analysis but just so that uh, uh, you know you'll know that I'm not uh, giving you a line or a as uh, you know, the critics will say, "Well, you don't know what I'm talking about," or "I didn't know Mary Green," or blah blah blah. Uh, Mary went and uh, actually sent me a copy of her book, and this is my copy. Of course, it's well worn, and uh, she had it printed for me and autographed it and sent it to me. And you can see there, 
there's her signature but uh, I'll read it here it says to Scott Carpenter from Mary Aline Green dear Scott I am so thrilled that you have found the Carter clan or part of them I know for a fact that the Bigfoot are there in that area there was a sort of there was, sorry about that, there was a sort of cream colored one named Toby too, a son of foxes. Prayers, best wishes to you, my friend. May God watch over your quest. Many prayers for your success. God bless Mary Elaine Green, Tennessee Bigfoot Lady, March 4th, 2011. So, uh, this back around so I have my copy probably one of the last it was ever printed to be honest with you she went to the printers and had one printed and sent it signed it and sent it to me and like I said I've, I've kind of worked it over there but uh, that's my copy but uh, in this video what you're going to see is uh, they've come back to the old home place and Fox has been sleeping in the garage underneath the uh, the old home place and, and I say garage it's a basement and I, the way it's you got to go around behind the house and it's under the house the house is you know probably the basement ceilings probably seven or eight foot and he'd been uh, from what I can tell they he'd been sleeping in there and they thought they may actually surprise him and so what they do is Mary goes around and she's got the only video camera and bless her heart she don't have, doesn't have a monopod so she's trying to hold it in her hand and uh, so she stations herself so if he runs out she can get good video of him and so they and so while they're doing that they're easing in there trying to see if he's in there trying not to startle him and so while she's standing there she's got the camera pointing towards the back of the house and it, it, the camera's pointing off into the wood line, or it's actually just a, a ditch line, and it's, it, you know, of course it's full of brush and, and trees and stuff. And I don't think Mary's actually looking where she's pointing the camera. And as they're waiting or hoping he'll come out of the uh, basement, you can actually see him. He's up and gets where he can see what they're doing. So obviously he must have heard them coming ran out of the uh, ran out of the basement and went and hid and circled and came back around to see what they were doing because they were hoping he would be in there but obviously you know he heard him but you can you can definitely you know the place the location he's at he's not there when they first go around and then there is a sequence just a very short sequence as she swings the camera uh, to get in position where uh, he, he actually you know he actually you can see him he's actually comes up into position and he just basically sits there and watches them and uh, of course he's gray by this time and you'll actually hear one of the researchers and uh, Janice Carter say he's silver now and uh, of course he's got you can't really see his eyes his eyes are so deep set in his head that it's just two dark round circles but you can definitely see his uh, top of his head and his face and he's got of course he's got a limb going right across his face but you, you can it sometimes see his, you can see his mouth and it appears he's head out of the shadows looking uh, he's sticking his head out where the sun's shining on it and uh, he just sits there you can kind of see head motion there's a, a I'll show several frames where his head's moving and it's not in the same location Mary just sits there and holds the camera pretty still and films for it I don't know 15 20 seconds before the, they move the camera and she focuses off of it so like I said it's obvious she doesn't know he's there and like I said he's down the hill behind a barbed wire fence and in the brush I don't know how far away it is if I had to guess I guess 20 yards maybe 60 feet maybe 90 feet maybe that far I don't know uh, it's hard to tell you know because it's he's down and then he's in a he's in the brush but uh, I think it's an exciting uh, video and uh, it's basically you know as far as I know the only pictures of the uh, Bigfoot named Fox and 
the only video of him and uh, probably the last video the first and the last as far as I know unless someone else has uh, has video or a, or a still uh, capture the interesting thing is this is a, a rare video I know that Mary Green has shared this with other people but I don't know how many people have seen it uh, I just know that she gave me a copy and told me to you know do analysis on it post it whatever I wanted to do with it uh, we were hoping if we could find something really you know clear that we could put it with the DNA study but uh, kind of didn't feel like the, the pictures I think are it's obvious what it is but it's so it's too far away and too much in the brush and not like you know it's not like you know like close up you can see the sweat beating it's the usual you know you can't see the eyes uh, you can see the shape of the head and the color of the hair, but it's just not clear enough. And like I said, this was done in 2002. I, it looks like this might be, I don't even know if HD was out yet. So this looks like 40, 480, it might be 720. Uh, I had to really work on it. My poor Mary was shaking really bad and swinging the camera around. So I ran it through what the footage you're going to see has been stabilized denoised and uh and so you know quite a bit so it's not real shaky and it does help clear it up and you know and, and run it through some filters to to make it easier to see so it's you know it's the original she shakes a lot and moves jerks and uh the lighting is sometimes out of adjustment etc and there's it can be real noisy so uh, the, mod, the software I used uh, has really helped clean that up, made, made it easier to view. So um, you'll see that, and I think that's, uh, I'll go through the video and I'll show you the, the you know, I'll, I don't have permission to show anyone's face in this one, so I've had to edit it so the people in it, and, and uh, I know it's Janice Carter, her, bro her brother, and another researcher, and then there's uh, and then Mary Green. And so, but since I don't have anybody's permission, I'll, you want, you know, you might get a profile, but I won't show their faces. And uh, one of the things that uh, I may, I have four different videos, uh, so uh, I might show you, I might put a little bit about of Jan's trying to call him in. But uh, it's interesting, it's, a, it's an interesting video. Like I said, it was back in 2002, April set. April 17th so it was about you know it was right in the time that she was writing the book and they were doing their investigations so uh, I hope you enjoy it uh, I hope uh, that it helps lend credibility and uh, col collaborate uh, the book 50 years with Bigfoot and and all the other information that Mary Green uh, has put out she was a pioneer uh, she was way ahead of her time and God bless her and God rest her soul
in the clip you're about to see, this short little clip, this is the section where he actually approaches and comes up. Now the viewer needs to realize that he is in a ditch, that behind the house is this ditch line. It's a pretty deep ditch line and it's full of brush. So he's coming, he's in the ditch, and I don't know, it's five or six feet at least to the edge, maybe, maybe higher. So when he comes up, he's down in the ditch walking to the edge, but he never comes up out of the ditch. And so basically what he does, he comes as close, you know, he comes close, and he's basically peering up. And like, you know, his eyes and his nose are where his senses are, so that's why you only see his head. If he had eyes on his elbow, you'd only see his elbow. But, uh, so just keep that in mind as you watch this. It's obvious he's, he's low and he comes up, at, you know, and it only takes a few frames because he, he moves in pretty quickly. And it's actually in a section where there's somebody in front of, uh, of Mary Green and she's moving to the left, or I'm sorry, to, to, to her right. And uh, so as she's kind of swinging, you can see him coming up. So this little section right here is of him coming up and then being visible, and he just sits there and watches, and almost is motionless. He's not in there. When he comes out, is he pretty well as wide he's as that deep. door? But is he as wide? He's, he's wide. It's, and he took off down over that vine right there and went across that fence and took off down toward that spring. Now there's old barn right there, Mary. It might be a good idea to look on the bob wire for and he's hair. got a darn path. It looks like beaten down. Well, if I go down there, I can't get back up the way I am today, so. Just, I've got tweezers to get hair. Don't pull it off with your hands if you find any. He went over the fence. He didn't go under. 
There ain't a way to get in. Not without getting caught all pieces. You see, that's, that right there is actually gas. I might get a cow. Yeah, he's silver. Now? Yeah, he's silver. You got him. What? His hair there. Silver hair. You want me to go?